how's it going guys? It's Connor here and today I'm playing some more Black Ops 2. Um, this is the gameplay that I mentioned in the last one that I played. Um, which is alright. It's not anything spectacular. I think it's actually slightly better than the last one. Um, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about gameplay as well as something else which I'll talk about later on. So, from my experience of Black Ops 2 so far, I've found that it is a very um, awareness based game like um, I'm actually AFK at the moment. I don't know why that's moving. I think there's something on my controller that it's just sort of the sticks kind of moved over to the side a little bit, so it just moves the tiniest little bit when you're not there. <coughs> Anyways, where was I? Yes, it's an awareness based game like I don't think maybe that it's as much skill based as other shooters. Like, obviously, I'm doing okay on it, which says a lot because I'm not exactly insanely skillful <laughs> or skillful at all. Um, to be honest. So basically what I'm trying to say is that if you've got a little bit of luck um, and a little bit of a decent reaction time is that you can play Call of Duty quite well and quite comfortably and get some decent gameplays and stuff. That might sound quite negative but trust me I'm not being negative. Honestly I think that's what makes Call of Duty Call of Duty. Um, if that makes sense. It makes it a great game. It makes it um, very playable by anyone. It means you can Go out to the shop if you've never bought it before, pick it up and have fun online, like everyone has a chance to do well and it means that no one, like obviously there is going to be that one person but barely anyone, a very tiny minority is going to have like a terrible game, they're going to hate the game and not enjoy themselves at all and it means, I think that's probably why Call of Duty is the number one like selling FPS game, like just because it's so like playable for anyone who's not played ever before. Anyways, I'm going to get on to the point that this commentary is actually about and of course I noticed how well that last commentary went, like how many likes it got and stuff and so clearly it entertains you guys and since I got Call of Duty I've been thinking I need to make a series of it somehow, like I can't just be doing the occasional commentary because as much as I enjoy doing that it's not maybe the best thing, it's not consistent, like maybe there'll be a couple of weeks where I won't make one. So I've been thinking of a series that I can do and I've kind of, like, it's kind of a rough idea right now but I'm going to go over what I've got so far and right now I'm like in my 20s, I'm like rank 26 or 27 or something. So I was thinking I would make a, a Call of Duty series called Road to Improvement, um, which is like basically like every five ranks or four ranks or something I will pick a gameplay that I thought was good enough and I will make a commentary over it and comment on if I'm getting better at the game and stuff and how I'm feeling about it and general comments about how the game's going like if the servers turn to crap and I decide to stop playing it and stuff if that goes well afterwards when I get to like first prestige because I always prestige I hate not levelling up so if that goes well I was thinking I would make a road to commander with like not a, the same type as what you may have seen on other like YouTubers like I don't think it would make for enjoyable viewing if you've seen every single gameplay that I got because sometimes like like everyone I have a terrible game and um, it wouldn't be very entertaining so I was thinking like kinda like the road to improvement but with hopefully better gameplays and like every couple of ranks or every time I play like a new gameplay from each session but not every game because um, like it's a lot easier to get one gameplay than it is to get every game a gameplay plus if I was doing the Road to Commander for every game then I'd be concentrating on talking and stuff and I wouldn't be concentrating as much on actual playing so obviously I wouldn't be as good um, because live comms are never as great as post comms if you improve at post comms like I feel as though I'm beginning to as well because I can kind of drag things out without making it boring, hopefully, fingers crossed, that <laughs> you guys aren't finding this boring. Um, so yeah, this gameplay is beginning to come to an end. Um, I think it might be around about now that someone starts accusing someone of cheating. Um, and that's something you see a lot on PC. And another thing about PC is no one seems to have a mic, which kind of annoys me. Like, I like to at least occasionally hear a teammate say where they, like, they see a guy or something, but... Nope, not going to happen. No one on PC seems to have a mic. So yeah, I'm coming up to the 
game winning kill here and you'll see that it's not exactly a great kill, it's extremely lucky. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe for more Black Ops 2 and I will see you guys next time. Bye!